Yo, what's good? What's good? Welcome to the Epic Entertainment Critics. I am Antoine. I am still James. I am Will to the Burt. I am finally not alone today. And we will we are going to do our Spider-Man Far From Home review. And after that, we're gonna have a spoiler discussion. But before we do that, I got an intro. All right, all right, I'm back. We're back. All right, so Spider-Man Far From Home is the seventh Spider-Man live action movie. Me and Wilbur was actually counting the mugs because we weren't even sure what number it was. <laughs> this is the seventh um, Marvel live action Spider-Man movie or just Spider- uh, well, Sony, whatever, whoever. <laughs> it's the seventh Spider-Man movie. Okay. So this take of this take place after the events of Homecoming, right? Right. Well, okay. I'm sorry. Well, I mean, after the events of everything, right? I, I, you know what? I'm sorry because the snap. We got to talk game. about the snap. You said what? Well, Will? I said this is after Endgame. Yeah, yeah. This is after Endgame. I was just kind of in, in the continuity of the character. This is like, well, for him, this is like right after Homecoming. Oh, this is you know right after the 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 blip as they call it. So let's talk about that. Okay, so if anybody been keeping up with all the Marvels, uh, all the Marvel movie, Avengers Endgame was um, was the last one, and then uh, the Avengers Infinity War when they when Thanos snapped half the population disappeared. So this, and if you see Endgame, spoiler alert, they bring them back. So this is. This is what is gonna go. What's happening now, you know? After everybody come back, and and also everybody was asking, how the hell, when, you know, other people moved on five years, how the hell these are, um, the people who just come back, how did you gonna come back to their life? So they kind of answered that. Did y'all like how they handled that? I mean, yeah. it went pretty much the way I thought it would. <laughs> it it was cool. I mean, I didn't like. Uh... I don't know, man. It's weird how they still in school, though. It's like, I, I mean, but you got to think about it. They when they came back, they came back right where they left off, you know. Right. It, so it's it's whack that people they know five years later, people are five years older. People that didn't go through the snap is five years older, but they still right where they left off. So I mean, you can't just say, well, you you actually twenty one now, so we're gonna. Right. Uh, you you ain't got to go back to school. No, you you just got to pick up where you left off. <laughs> uh, you was in the middle of smashing. You come back from the snap, smash and still, right? <laughs> uh, no, no. Uh, I, I think you come back on somebody's bed mid thrust, and folks try to figure out who the hell you are. And not that's why what happened. And not to mention, if you whoever you was smashing, I'm pretty sure she moved on. <laughs> How do you left all that dust up in her? <laughs> so. Okay, so they kind of handled that. They kind of handled that. I, I was cool with that. It's kind of like a they just mentioned it, like, "Hey, yeah, people come back. We got to move on. Uh, people that was in school, y'all got to go back to school, and everybody else has moved on or whatever." It's kind of fucked up, but I mean, how you how else you gonna handle it? At least they addressed it, because what? Because yeah. you know how a lot of people was talking about it, but they just like, well, I don't know, you know, because <laughs> they did a little scene where people just like pop back up like <laughs> where they was at <laughs> you know what i'm talking about the part in... that was kind of funny you said what that's funny with the band playing in the middle of basketball right yeah that's what i'm saying <laughs> so um so okay so that that's kind of where the story going and it, it's called far from home so you know spider-man is on a, a vacation they trying to show that on a trailer too it's on vacation to in europe so uh, this is where this movie going to take place. Uh, is anybody cool with that? Because they said it's the first Spider-Man movie that didn't take place not in New York. So uh, are y'all, y'all cool with that being in Europe? I mean, yeah. 
James, what say you? Because Wilbur shit going in and out a little bit. <laughs> uh, I mean, I ain't mad at it. It's it's always a little weird, you know, when you have a, any kind of Spider Man story that don't place take place in New York, just because like he literally only like operates through like a few city blocks. You right, know? and he's supposed to be the friendly neighborhood Spider Man. You forget, right, like he, does, so he does not do Queens. You know, he doesn't go into Hell's Kitchen. He doesn't go into Harlem. Yeah. You know? He's he's the Queens hero, you know. So it's weird to take him that far out of his element, right? Uh, I was cool with it, man. Um, I felt like, okay, we're gonna get into the my problems I had, and this was like the first half of the movie. Is they was kind of like focused on his life as Peter Parker with his friends in school. So I guess they all went in the snap or whatever, like. <laughs> Like right. I think they said, like half the class about yeah got like, snapped away. All his friends, though. <laughs> yeah, no. Nah. Everybody he personally knew got right. snapped away with him. That's what I was trying to say. Like, you know what? Okay, but whatever. We we cool with that. That just means that just means Thanos is a nice guy. Yeah, I said you, uh, want, you, you want your friends to go with you. Okay. Right. <laughs> hey, look, don't worry about me snapping away your, your your nephew or whatever. But look, I seen his friends with him, so he's fine. <laughs> Right. <laughs> so, okay. Um, they on the senior trip, and this is when the shit happens, man. This, then, then you kind of see Mysterio. So we're going to talk about Mysterio without spoiling it. Uh, <laughs> so how do... Let me ask y'all a question. How did y'all like how... First of all, let me ask you, did y'all like Mysterio in this movie? Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's solid. He's, he's real solid. Y'all, did you like how Jake Gyllenhaal played it? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> like because it kind of remind me of uh, the way they did uh, his whole arc in the uh, in that uh, Spider Man cartoon. You know, which one? <laughs> uh, uh, the animated series, you know. Uh, but the one from the nineties. The one from the nineties, yeah. Because yeah. like, they had that sort of um, like when he comes on the scene, he has he had that kind of he came on the scene with that kind of superstar status that. That you know, that game show host you know vibe about him. Yeah, know? like he he had the showman st- kind of a showman uh, yeah. feel to him. Well, like that's kind of like what the comics. He come in, he set something up. He come in and act like he the hero, and everybody like, oh, he's so cool. He way cooler than Spider Man. You know what I'm saying? Like right away. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's something behind that. Fuck him. So my question is, is was it a coincidence that Spider Man was happen to be there? Or was it something else going on? And I don't want to spoil it too much on that. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I guess we'll say that for the spoilers sec- yeah, we'll spoiler section. Yeah, we'll say that for the spoilers. We'll just kind of be uh, more broad on not just plot, but just uh, how the movie was or whatever. Um, so, okay. So, did you like the special effects? Like, the... Um, you know the CGI and all that. Like, how how did y'all feel about how it looked? Like, actually, that's that's. I'm quite sure that's why the money went because it was a lot of special effects, especially some of the fight. Yeah, it looked like it was it was like some some CGI mixed with practical. Yeah, but it looked way better than uh, what was it when Spider Man Three Sandman? They didn't came oh, all the way. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, time. I I always thought I didn't. Never, I never thought that was too bad, but I have to go back and watch. It. I ain't watched Spider Man Three since it came out. <laughs> Man, that, yeah, it's easy to forget. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I mean, the special effects was good though. Like I was actually really impressed on how they did that because when you have that much CGI going into a movie, I think a lot of there's a really, like. The balancing act, you know, trying to figure out when to pull back from that, and they did a good job of switching from like like the special effects, the special effects to the uh, you know the physical visual effects. So yeah, I was tripping off kind of like the property damage, and I was kind of tripping off like I know this is a movie, and I know when they destroy stuff, but they was like destroying like major monuments, and yeah. then they just kind of go about their senior trip like they didn't just do that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, how, how how did y'all not get immediately flown back home? Right. When there was major stuff going on, the second y'all land. So, yeah, when something happened, they'd be like, oh, well, you know, we got saved in that. Well, okay, good news, kids. We're going to go to this other city or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, well, also, like, 
I just experienced a fucking snap. I mean, gone for five years. Like, would it be like more traumatized than anything? But like, also, also, every time his class goes on a field trip, something happens. <laughs> every time. Yeah, we was talking about that too. That was another field trip. Because the, the yeah. other one was a field trip, too. It was like a little yeah. academic uh, competition yeah. or something. So first, uh, one, one of the students disappears for no apparent reason for, <laughs> all, for over a day. And then they almost get killed in an elevator at the Washington Monument. Then they go on, an, on a field trip and aliens invade. <laughs> then half the population of the planet gets snapped away for five years. Then they come back. They go to Europe. And now there's big, you know, water and fire monsters all over the place. Bro, you know what? He should just tell all his friends he's Spider Man so they can just know what to do. You know what right. I mean? Look, look I'm going to need y'all to get out of the way so I can suit up and do my thing. All right? Y'all, y'all know the plan? The they can actually assist. You know what I'm saying? They can, you know, one person make sure he, his uh, identity covered. One person can make sure he got his suit. One person can make sure uh, some uh, civilians out the way. You know what I'm saying? They can Somebody actually... make sure Flash doesn't have a, a camera phone on so he don't tell everybody a secret. <laughs> Do y'all realize what y'all just did? What? <laughs> what? Y'all just did what somebody else had going on. What you mean? <laughs> uh, I mean, this is spoiler free, but somebody else just had something going on the same way what y'all just said. What, and in this movie? We, no, what you just said, what just came out your mouth, you start mentioning the soups and shit. Right, but that didn't happen. that didn't happen in this movie. No, it, it did. Oh, uh, well, not like that. Not like I was just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm saying purposely tell all your friends your secret identity so they can actually assist you instead of always lying to them. That's all I was saying. Yeah, well, somebody else had a bunch of assistants. It's a, these are good guys. But, okay, it didn't, it wasn't like, it wasn't like a planned thing. It was just something that just happened. So that's what I'm saying. That's the difference. <laughs> that's all. But, but anywho, okay, let's talk about Nick Fury. Because, uh... <laughs> Um, I was one. I was. I'm, sorry, I'm watching it, and we're gonna have to, you know, get more into him in the spoilers. But I was like, this dude, he more, he kind of like a, a a bully, like yeah, <laughs> yeah. But that kind of threw everything off. Once they showed what they showed, I'm like, wait a minute. What? Oh, you mean you yeah. talking about later? Yeah. Okay. Like, yeah. We we are gonna get into that later, but we'll, we'll get on that. But it's like, just gonna just like from the jump though. It's like, man, Nick Fury shouldn't be around kids, man. I know, I know. I'm looking like, I'm looking like, do you, you know, he's like a six, a high schooler, like, you know what I'm saying? It's like the way he was pushing him, it was like, hey, you gonna do this? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, what you gonna do is you gonna get your ass out there and do this? <laughs> you know, I'm like, damn. Yeah, it's even like, look, man, I'm not gonna be able to make it because I'm going over here. Okay, I got you. I got you. <laughs> Welcome to town, kid. Yeah, like we just got upgraded. Yeah, (laughs) (laughs) that was fun. So this this movie was was pretty much still trying to be a comedy. Yeah, Uh, Yeah. I mean that is the tone of these like uh, a teenage comedy, uh, like uh, a National Lampoon Senior Trip. You know, some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? That's the tone, not like a parody, but it's basically a comedy. Uh, You know, did you like the, uh, the what do they call it? Was that like a cock punch? When uh, <laughs> when yeah. somebody just ran. Is that something they do? I heard that's something they do in Europe. You hear about that? Cock knocker. They call it yeah, cock knocker. <laughs> yeah. What's well, so up? You taking pictures of some ran- some random person coming hit you in the nuts? I-, I don't know if you just they just do that and then you ain't gotta be taking pictures or whatever. You just they just like run. It's it's probably like a little prank like with kids yeah. or whatever. They just run by and and slap you in the nuts and run off. <laughs> Boy, give me a pistol. <laughs> so, but no, uh, the comedy elements. I mean, when Wilbur was talking about this, it didn't all work. No, um, because at the beginning, the like the first fifteen minutes of the movie, it seemed like they was throwing out these jokes, and the audience wasn't really laughing. Like no, I didn't. Our, our audience wasn't laughing at a lot of stuff. <laughs> Weber, you was breaking up. What'd you say? So, I'll tell you, they, they didn't land at all for real. None of them. Yeah, I mean, I ain't gonna say none of it because some of it was funny, but like the first 15, 20 minutes or so, it was kind of lame. Like the part when they was on the plane, like 
so, you know, I, I, I'm sure they meant for that to be funny, but it just it just wasn't. You know, I think they was they was leaning on that teacher too, um, to yeah. be more of the comic relief. Right. Uh, but I mean, he, he wasn't bad, but it just wasn't. I don't know. It just wasn't landing for me. Uh, that, that, now the funniest, the funniest one was the the Nick Fury visit. Now that was hilarious. You said, the, oh, <laughs> well, that's what I said. So it was stuff that was good. It was some funny jokes that landed. But every time he tried to get serious, the music would change and yeah. they pick right back up. Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> when he, when he had to stop talking, the music would stop, and then when he start when he start talking it again, the music the look. The eerie music could come back on. Right. That, was, that, that was funny how they did that. Um, and I like uh, y'all like JB Smooth. <laughs> yeah, he was tripping. <laughs> but you know what? He wasn't even he wasn't even funny as he usually be. They didn't give him nothing yeah. to work with. You know what I'm saying? That's what kind of made. I, I don't know if they told him to dial it back. And he ain't like Kevin Hart. He more he funny a different way. It just, I don't think they gave him nothing with the writers to work with. You know, he did say some stuff like, yeah, it's some witches or whatever. <laughs> you know, as a man of science, this witchcraft. Yeah. yeah. Right. I mean, that was and, funny. Right, yeah. it was, but I'm telling you, that dude way funnier than that. You know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah. And they, just, they, they didn't really let, let him really, you know, cut loose or whatever, but it is what it is. I'd I like to see him uh, uh, come back, though. But we'll see. Like, especially because like his usual style of comedy is way more intense, yeah. and so like they, there wasn't any room left in that in that movie for him. You know? uh, so we could talk about. Um, I want to talk about more of the action. What y'all think about the Spider Man action? Like, um, how was it for y'all? Um, pretty good. Okay, it was pretty good. Not amazing. Um, uh, <laughs> I don't know. No, it was spectacular. <laughs> I'm still, man. To be honest, man, I'm still like, I'm not over Endgame yet, and it's like they just jumped right back in it. Like, and they jumped right back in it with a with a, a comedic tone too. Yeah. I don't know if they was. I don't know if this was the right time for this movie to be funny like it was. You know what I'm saying? After Endgame, with with people dying and stuff, they just. Hey, yeah. they they pretty much made a joke out of everybody there, <laughs> right? Yeah, because I know we talked about it uh, after after Endgame. It felt like Endgame should be the end of, of Phase Three. Like, yeah, either like either they should have done Far From Home first, or they should have saved it for Phase Four. Yeah, they but should... you know what? I I honestly thought that I thought Far From Home was like a prequel to Endgame. I always felt that to my heart. Like we was on school bus. Yeah. And I just knew that was gonna pick up right there, but obviously I was wrong. But right, it, it probably would have been better. It would have been better that way. But I yeah. think they decided to use that to um, bridge phase four, where they was like, I, it, it was just weird because how we were seeing Spider Man trailers and Endgame was finna come out. Like, yeah, but then and then they put a disclaimer on the trailer where. Um, uh, to, not Toby McGuire. I'm sorry. <laughs> Andrew, Tom Holland. Uh, uh, Tom Holland say, "Hey, if you uh, ain't seen Endgame yet, don't watch this trailer. It's gonna be major spoilers in there for you." Ain't you there something saying? wrong with that? That's so funny. I know weird. it's they they messed up the timing, man. I think they. Yeah. I don't know. Um, but you know they they make decisions because of other reasons. Uh, they had to know that there was gonna be a, not a good time, but you know that's the way it is. <laughs> Yeah. <clears throat> so I just knew that was a prequel, but oh, whatever. I mean, it would have been better if they would have kept it a contained. I think yeah. it would have been a, a contained in Queens, like we was talking about, a contained in Queens story right before Endgame. That would have been probably better. But I mean, right. we, it is what it is. <laughs> okay, so um, uh, the Spider-Man action was good. Nick Fury was good. Um, we got a. Uh, Marissa Tormey is Aunt May. Uh, she, you know, that's like the hottest Aunt May going. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she is. And they made a, uh, they made it kind of clear that her and Happy Hogan kind of got a little thing. But you know what? I, when I was seeing, he was flirting. She, she like a single aunt. She ain't had none in a while. She just kind of like messing around. I could t that's what we, <laughs> I could tell when they kind of did that with uh when they were um, 
when they was talking about their relationship, it was just like, eh, you know, it was just a thing. <laughs> right. A couple of nuts. Keep them over. <laughs> but um, I don't know, man. Um, how did you guys feel about the end? It's, it's hard to talk about this without spoiling. I'm trying to see, wait, what can I say without directly spoiling Nothing, because it's like you said, the whole movie a fucking spoiler. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, I just, think I think some of the bigger plot points, especially the 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 outgoing plot points towards the end, I don't know how I feel about them. Like we'll talk about them more in like the the spoiler discussion, but like I don't know if this movie knew what it was supposed to be. It does. Oh, yeah. Um, it, it's a comedy, or it's supposed to be. Um, you know something else. I, I feel you on that. I feel you on that. Um, the ending, I thought. Was, you know, I thought it was a good ending. I had problems, and I guess it's not really a spoiler. I had problems with the inconsistency on Spider-Man taking damage because yeah. Yeah. things was happening to him where any other time he would have probably been out of commission, at least out of commission, if not dead. Because, mind you, and they said it in this movie. He said, "Ain't you super strong? Yeah, but I still feel pain, or I'm still." I'm still vulnerable. So do he got yeah. the vulnerability of a human, but the strength of the spider? Like, pretty much. Like, he's he's more durable. Like, I'd say as far as, like, his rec- his actual durability is somewhere just north of Captain America. But, like, he's okay. still, well, like... He was do- they were doing pain. stuff to him yeah. where he should have been fucked up in traction. And he yeah. just, you know, and he had come out of it. So it was times where... Let's say uh, I don't want to spoil nothing. It was times that where somebody was attacking him, and they thought that he was dead because oh, that would kill anybody. You know what I'm saying? And they moved on. Right. But no, he just kind of brushed it off and come back. I'm like, okay, yeah. wait a minute. Or, or or he'll have a nap and then be cool. Right. He didn't even do that. It was just it. It was it was uh because of Spider Man not being durable like that, he should not have survived some of those. Attacks. <laughs> so I had a problem I mean, with that. Because, like, he is pretty durable. Like, he's not, like, he's still head, head and shoulders above a normal person. You know, like I said, yeah. he's, he's more durable than Captain America, and Captain America can take some hits. But it just seemed like those attacks, he, it was no for real effect on him. You know what I'm saying? Other than slowing him down yeah. for a couple of minutes. And I'm like, that's not Spider Man thing. It's not, he's not super strong. He's Well, he is super strong, but he's not. You know, he's not those the, the 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 kind of person that'll just power his way through a fight. You get what I'm saying? Right. And this right. and, and and the by the way the by the way they attacking him, he was he was acting like somebody that was so strong that hey that shit don't hurt me. You know what I'm saying? I'm like okay, that's a little yeah. inconsistent for me. I don't know how you felt about that. I see you disagree a little bit, but how you feel about I mean, it? I think I think the the big thing here is. It's kind of like the same problem we had with Captain America for the for the first few movies. They couldn't decide what his limits were supposed to be. So at some point, it was like he could barely go on, and at others, he was popping right back up after taking a hit that should have killed someone somebody else. You know. So I think it's some of that. They're still trying to figure out where they should draw the line between the limits they've established and what's you know good for the scene. Well, my problem is uh, the reason why he used to. He can fight people that's way stronger than him because his his spidey sense used to uh, allow him to dodge attacks in the last second or stuff like that. Where in this movie things like that wasn't happening, and he was just taking the attacks. Yeah, you don't he don't always take those attacks. He always get out of them before he actually impacts. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that go back to the whole tingly thing too. They I know. Uh, I don't know if that's a spoiler, but that that makes sense. But then. Uh, I just want to say that was a main plot point about his spider sense. We'll just say that. And well, I think uh, at one point they even said, like in the in uh, Homecoming and in uh, Infinity War and Endgame, they were going out of their way not to make you know the spider sense as big of a deal as it was in like the, in the Sam Raimi movies and in uh, the Amazing. Uh, movies like they wanted to focus on him trying to figure out how to do stuff instead of him just suddenly being able to so they wanted to have a more gradual because they wanted him to earn, they to they want him his, to earn his spider sense like like yeah. like they want him to earn it like he actually uh worked at it and made it better yeah. you know instead of just yeah. happening 
I get that, I guess. But in the meantime, he's getting totally fucked up. <laughs> We're trying to learn how to use that shit. <laughs> he's, getting totally stopped, fucked. he's getting stopped through buildings and right, that's what I'm saying. into parks. I know, and I know he's somewhat vulnerable, but I mean durable. But damn. So yeah. All right, let's go. Let's uh, move on to the rating because I want to jump into the spoilers before I run out of time. Um. Uh, I will. I really enjoyed this movie. I had problems with. Um, I really had problems with the first twenty minutes or so of um, seeing the kids uh, in school. They are. It's just they're not interesting. Um, they cool. They all cool kids. All the characters, all the actors, pretty cool. They just not interesting enough to hold my attention. I just like could not wait for some superhero shit to happen. I could not wait for him to be Spider Man because he was being Peter. For so long, and he's so fucking awkward. It annoys me. I know we. I know Wilbur. You said this is your favorite Spider Man, or this is your favorite Peter Parker? By far. Okay. Yeah. And I can understand that. It just he's so awkward. It annoys me, where he just can't never really like just say something to somebody. <laughs> it's like I rather really take that say Tobey Maguire emotional, and then other motherfucker. He's just too arrogant, too cocky to be Spider Man. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, you got some points. It's just, he just, he just kind of annoyed me personally. Just annoyed me, um, but I still, that didn't take too, that didn't take too long. So after a while, they start getting into the Spider Man stuff, and it was, re- it was real fun. It was, it was, it was a fun movie, and I really, really loved the villain. Um, so, but uh, it just wasn't epic for me. But it was a real dope movie, so I give it a dope on our on our race gift just because, just because um you know I just just I don't know I just I just felt like it took too long to get going. Uh, second half was way better than the first half, and I just it's things about the consistency with the powers I didn't like. Uh, that's just me personally, so I give it a dope. Wilbert, uh, I'm gonna give it a all right. Whoa. You went below a dope. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you was really feeling it. Explain yourself uh, real quick, Wilbert. I, I was feeling it, but the way it ended, like, I, I like the cars, I like the MJ, but the, the ending, man, I can't spoil it, man, but the ending really threw me off for a world. Like, them, them post credit scenes ain't right. Dude, the, the, the first one I really love, but we'll get to that. <laughs> Yeah, right, I'm, I'm cool with the first one, but the second one kind of—that's kind of a letdown. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. We 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 gonna talk about that. Uh, what what you say, James? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and give it a dope as well. Like, just I I really enjoyed this one more than I thought I was going to. But it's just mm-hmm. there was some mismanaging on plot points. There was a lack of consistency from scene to scene. So I can't give it an epic, but hopefully right. the next one they'll they'll figure some of that out. You know, right. but we'll see. Oh, um, but. Don't you think Homecoming was better than this one, though? I do, personally. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I like Homecoming. It's it's like my second favorite out of all my movies. We will rate those uh, later, probably not today. <laughs> but um, I think Homecoming was better. But this was actually, it was fun. It just, I don't know, man. I just wish it was more about Spider-Man and less about yeah. Peter. <laughs> Which it wasn't well, like, too much about Peter, though, but still. Because I think like Homecoming was a better Spider-Man story. Yeah. And so that 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 does a lot of the work for it. This one was cool. It just wasn't that good of a Spider-Man story. Right. Michael uh, Keaton. Yeah. I, you yeah. Know what? And that guy was telling Wilbur, I'm liking the villains. Probably I ain't gonna say more than Spider-Man, but I seen Spider-Man so much. That I'm more interested in seeing these new villains that I haven't seen before, like the Vulture oh, yeah. and Mysterio. I'm just like I'm feeling seeing those, and I want to see some more. I wouldn't mind seeing Scorpion and all. And they're that. doing such a good job of keeping the villains like true to the characters. Yeah, that's you know? true. That's true. That's true. So, all right. You know what? Um, well, we're gonna we're gonna jump into the spoiler, man. Do you guys have one last thing to say, Wilbert? No, I'm trying to think about the worst villain ever. Probably was uh, Venom. You said the worst villain. Electro? Uh, 
Fox. I'm sorry. Oh shit, I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, we talking about the movies? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he said Electro. Electro was the worst villain. <laughs> I gotta forget about Jamie Fox. All right, all right. We, all right let's wrap up. We're gonna jump into the spoilers. So, um, this is uh, we are done with our, our review. Uh, movie was pretty dope. Go see it. Um, uh, and stay tuned for the spoiler. <laughs> 